Hi everybody, this is Nikki Jameson here and here I am doing a thick paint abstract. I'm actually experimenting with some of the brushes I've shown in my previous videos. So if you've been watching my channel, I have some videos about different brushes in Coral Painter. And what I was doing today was to do an abstract painting using uh, some of these brushes. Now, it's quite important if you are painting in Coral Painter for the first time, what happens after a while is that you have some brushes that you particularly like and that you tend to go to um, again and again. So what anyway, I'm what I have done do. here, uh, just to start this uh, painting, and I'm going to close these, I'm going to close some of these layers. I'm going to close this layer here. Uh, and I'm going to close, I think that's the only one I've got open. So let's close that layer. So what I started off with was actually um, a blank white canvas. And then I added, um, because this layer is closed, I can't paint on it. But I added, and you see it's put another layer there. I, add, I wanted to do a, um, a thick paint. Uh, I wanted to paint using the thick paint brushes. And in Corel Painter 2023, or any Corel Painter, what it does if you're painting on a thick paint layer, it will add another layer for you. Um, if you use a thick paint compatible brushes, which are um, part of the thick paint category that's these ones which I'm actually on most of the time it won't add a layer for you but anyway so what I did is I did some uh, a, a background I then blended that background so I don't think we have anything on this one but let's leave it for now I then blended that background so that we had something a little bit more um, uh, consistent and and smooth uh, although I really, since I'm using a paper texture here, I'm using a canvas called Dirty Canvas because I like a textury uh, appeal in my paintings. So um, I think we can leave that one closed. And then what I did, let's just go up here, is that I added, uh, there's an, I added some more paint, which made another thick paint layer here, which I don't think I painted on. But what I did is, uh, you can see I painted using um, what did I use here? I used a thick knife. So I was in the thick paint uh, category and I used the thick paint knife. And if I reset that to its default, you'll see that uh, actually that's a thick sergeant. So this is the one I used. So you'll see it uh, actually adds some texture. Now this is a knife brush. Okay. So I was just, I'm just making some abstract marks here because what I want to do is kind of interpret this abstract here. Try and put my own, my own reading uh, on it. And this is useful because in Coral Painter you can have any reference photo. You don't have to actually copy the reference at all, although I'm going to do the general direction, but you can actually use the colors. Um, and that that's you can make a color palette a separate color palette which I haven't done in this case but you can make a separate color palette and what I would advise if you are going to use a set of brushes that you like is to create uh, a custom so palette make sure it's still working I will come back to creating a custom palette and I'll, I'll show you how to do that maybe in a separate video I don't want to divert too much from what I'm doing here so anyway back to this painting so the next layer I added um, was this orange layer, sort of emulating the general direction here. And I also put on another layer, I put this really nice yellow. So what I was doing with the, with the uh, brush is to, I was actually blending at this, at this point. So I'm on that, that's the white layer. And the layers, using layers gives you a lot of flexibility. So if you don't like what you do, you can um, you can change it. Okay, so I'm going to sample this color here so that it doesn't look too too weird. Okay, and then on layer five, layer five is the is is the yellow. We have this, and then we have um, this. I was using a different kind of brush here, and I'm going to go back to my thick sergeant, and I'm going to sample this color. 
and I'm going to oops I'm on the wrong layer here so let's do control Z let's go to the top layer and then I can put in some color let's make it a bit bigger put in some color here so because this is a thick sergeant and the reset is about 80% it's kind of blending okay it's blending this color in which is actually what I what I want to do and I'll obviously do a little a lot more work on this um, to probably give it a little bit more color variability and a bit more interest just sort of make it go over the edges and I can do that on another layer just to to break it up a little bit but as you see what I'm doing here is I'm working on the 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 layer with this blue uh, or dark really dark color here I'm just going to add just for a bit of variability add a little lighter color here and I'm still using the thick sergeant and what's pretty good about uh, Coral Painter is that it tells you the last brushes the last few brushes that you use which is really really such a help in a lot of cases because if you if you're experimenting with a lot of brushes or you're using a lot of brushes the chances of forgetting which brushes you've used are very high so I'm just going to sample this oh why is it sampled the orange for some reason it's sampling the orange there but okay we're getting the blue let's go back there take that okay there we go so the nice thing about using layers here is that um, obviously I can pull I have pick up underlying color on which means I can pull some of the color that's underlying um, into the pa into my painting which is kind of a nice I can do it if I sample this yellow I can do it there but if I don't want to do that and I only want to paint the colors on that layer so I can go back to my this yellow piece here yellow not white I because I haven't got um, pick up underlying color on it will just pull the yellow out which is which can be good because you don't I, I actually want to keep these separate um, and then what what that means is that as I paint on this layer it only paints on that yellow layer Okay, so it's very possible for you to to um, build up layers. If I go to my layer of white and make sure I sample the white, it can pull in that textury white that I've got there. So I can actually go back and work the painting back and forth and pull in some white. And then I can add another layer because I've only got two white pieces here. And just if I want to make sure that it's shy, that it comes through I can either move the layer up or I can I can use an eraser and I can erase some of these um, spots so that's me working on that layer I can do the same just make sure I sample uh, the the right color and then what I'm gonna do once I've done that I'm gonna add kind of like my own interpretation so on that same layer I'll probably add a little bit of red. Maybe I'll use, I could try the thick sergeant. And because it's on a, a layer below, it's going to add this really interesting choppy, choppy um, paint mark. And then what I can do if I want to work on that a bit more, I can just close this layer, still make sure I'm on the other layer. And then pull pull that in okay so that's just one way you can start off an abstract sometimes abstracts are very unless you've done a lot of them they're very um, they're not as easy as they look to do them and you need to focus on either texture or color or mood or anything that um, that is going on that you you really want to do oops I didn't sample a color there see how easy it is to forget that um, but it's I find it easy to sort of start I don't really want to do that start with something and then add my own interpretation to it so 
if I turn that off, I really didn't want that white, to be frank. Just pull that up a little bit. Then I can play with the different layers, building textures into the painting as I go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short uh, video uh, with the startings of an abstract and hopefully I will see you in another video. Take care.